Now, another major takeaway today, how both sides portrayed Alec as a person. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle was inside the courtroom for those opening arguments today, and she has more from Walter Burrow. Opening statements brought two very different depictions of Alec Murdoch. The defense painted him as a loving husband and father. The prosecution, on the other hand, described him as a storm. Chief Prosecutor Creighton Waters pointed to Murdoch in court saying cell phone evidence puts him at the scene of Maggie and Paul's murders. Waters described their wounds as catastrophic. Defense attorney Dick Harputian agreed. He called the wounds gruesome, but says Alec could not have done it. He says the same phone evidence brought up by the state includes a video of Paul and Alec riding around laughing together, taken not long before the state says Alex would have had to kill his son in cold blood. The cell phone records would indicate he would have had less than 10 minutes to kill him, get up to the house, get in the car and crank it up. You're going to see body worn camera of him at the scene and then you're going to hear how things progress about what he says and what he what he says he did that night watch those closely court resumes tomorrow morning at 9 30. we know that the first witness to be called to the stand is going to be testifying about body worn cameras that officers were wearing when they initially responded to that 911 call made by alec murdoch reporting in walterboro grace runkle fox carolina news now, coming up in the next half hour, we hear from one of the state's most prominent defense attorneys about what he thinks will happen at the end of this trial and what the jury will decide. And we'll also be bringing you team coverage of the trial as it continues. You can see live streams from inside the courtroom on the Fox Carolina News streaming app, especially on Roku, Apple, and Fire TV.